You know what it is? Maybe Overwatch just wasn't it's just not as fun as it used to be. What if <laughs> Nah, that can't be it. Yeah, that, that, the game's fun still. Okay, that's not it. Uh, do you think anything might be coming in the next a week or so? Possibly? That could change that? I wouldn't know. Uh oh. 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 Hey B. Well, what, what could this game use that would be more exciting? What's going on, everybody? It's Frito here for your Overwatch. Yet again, more hero ban news, and I'm sure many of you are hero banned out by this point, but Jeff Kaplan, right after I released my previous video, went onto the forums to straight up tell us that a new system is coming in the next developer update. It goes into greater detail to re-emphasize that the team isn't excited about hero bans at all, but this system is looking to solve similar problems that you would assume hero bans would solve. So with that, let's get into Jeff Kaplan's post. He said, I've seen a lot of discussion about hero bans the past few days, and I just wanted to offer some perspective on the topic. As always, the OW has a wide variety of opinions about the concept. I don't know if he means the Discord, where where he gets pro feedback or if he means the dev team internally but either way moving on interestingly we don't have many people on the team vehemently arguing for the feature more of us including myself are reluctant to add hero bands to overwatch as i've said before we're not of the mindset that we're opposed to the idea entirely and will never add them but overall there are a number of issues that make us want to proceed carefully coming at this from a game design focus the number one thing we ask is what is the problem that we are trying to solve. We're not fans of just adding ideas that are in other games just because we call this bottom-up design. Sometimes the right design decision for one game is a terrible design decision for another game, even if two games are very similar. For example, with World of Warcraft, we did not impose forced grouping, a slow leveling curve, and punishing death penalty with level loss just because the other successful MMOs had those features at the time. And as a player of those other MMOs, I thought they were the correct decision for those games, but not for World of Warcraft. When I hear why people want hero bands, the conversation usually revolves around a few reasons, and he says, I'm sure there are more. People do not like that meta stagnates. They believe with hero bans, they will be able to ban out the meta heroes, thus moving the meta. In general, the meta not moving is perceived by the player base as bad. I have some disagreements with this, but we'll get to that later. People are frustrated with the balance of certain heroes. With hero bans, they feel like they can ban out the heroes they are frustrated with. And number three, people do not like playing against certain heroes. With bans, they feel like they can ban out a hero they don't want to play against. Now, I just want to point in here, none of these are the reasons I want bans. Not one. So especially when I'm quoted in this forum thread as bringing up this issue and being one of the biggest ban advocates, I want to make it clear, Jeff is not addressing the key reason I want them. I want them to allow diversity of heroes. That's very different. It's not about the meta being stagnant. I could care less if the meta stagnant, because if we had a stagnant meta that allowed a diverse set of heroes, that'd be different. But the game of Overwatch doesn't allow that for reasons we've listed at nauseum in the past few videos. Like if we never Never had a balance patch ever, and certain heroes were tier one, but like 15 out of the 30 heroes saw significant playtime, maybe I wouldn't care. But that's never what's been the case. It's been more like six to eight get the vast majority of playtime all the time in the same mirror match, and that's what I don't like. I really hate when people give the argument, well, just patch the game more frequently, just spin the roulette wheel so that six to eight different heroes become top meta next time. No, I don't think that's good at all. I think that's terrible, actually. But anyway, just to make that clear, now moving on to what he said, as a team, we agree with and understand that players want the meta to be more fluid and move more quickly. Even though the vast majority of players only experience the meta through OWL, feedback from GM, streamers, and YouTubers, we get the perception of a stale meta is not good for the game. We absolutely have plans to move the meta more, and we'll be talking about these in an upcoming developer update. We get it. We agree. Make the meta move faster. Okay, again. Not what I want. Don't care about the meta moving. I care about the skill curve of heroes equating in more value and diverse strategies to exist somewhat. That's the only thing I care about are those two things. When we saw Tracer Widow in Owl Season 1, there was about a handful of other counter picks. There was Winston on attack versus Orisa on defense. Lots of different things got played. That's what I want, but it's so hard for balance to do that alone. If we had that meta without Brig coming into the game, we just froze the game there, I'd be happy. Also, luckily enough, I think this patch is 
similar to that where some maps you'll see some dive aspects get implemented like king of the hill with wrecking ball you're not gonna be able to play may on every map there's maps like icon vault we already know were good for Farah on the last map swapping out the may so this balance state isn't terrible it's just that bans save us from goats okay back to jeff's post here but just implementing hero bans does not mean the meta will move studying other games the end result is usually a ban meta the downsides of a ban meta is that players are often at odds with each other when someone on the team bans an off ban meta hero. The same frustrations that players experience with the meta exists in a ban meta. Hero bans are not a silver bullet solution to making the meta move. If the problem we are trying to solve is that the meta needs to change more, hero bans might actually make the problem worse, not better. We do have a solution in mind, an actual system that we'll talk about next week in next week's developer update, but it's not hero bans. So we should have expected Blizzard to do something like this. They really love to come up with their own answers to these things. I've talked about this a lot over the last month where they come up with really ingenious ideas. And since Emong seems to know what that is, I'm hoping that it has a similar level of impact as bans but I hope it isn't a hero rotation per season like Jeff has floated before because that's exactly the thing I don't want that's no different than the roulette wheel balancing structure we've had before and although Jeff is right for sure that alternate sub ban metas occur the secret benefit in this that isn't getting spoke about here is that the secondary obnoxious OP thing below the top you must ban thing is typically more skillful better to interact with more ideal than dealing with something overpowered at the top and yes if everyone had assumptions of what you had to ban similar things might get banned for a long period of time but individuals still have the chance to ban something else whether it be pro teams or individual players that's still more power to the player to structure the game than just the patch alone even if it is only really flexed a percentage of the time Ufigani says in regards to players wanting to ban for balance reasons the way we plan to address this is with more frequent balance updates the upcoming dev update will go in depth into the plan and shed light on how we're going to accomplish this so we agree that there are balance issues we agree balancing needs to happen more frequently we disagree that hero bans are a good solution to balance problems to us removing a hero from play because of balance reasons feels like a sledgehammer yeah it is a sledgehammer but sledgehammers can be very useful tools i find because if there's like a brigida sized wall just fortifying a goat's problem in your way a sledgehammer can do a lot to solve that problem really quick and I always fear that we're insulting the devs when we push them on things like this, because based on their actions, they feel like they really want to take control and solve it and make the perfect solution. And I give the devs a ton of credit for this, and I feel like I'm the only content creator that ever does, but the devs really attempt to design the game from a balanced perspective to fit at all tiers of play. I think there's a few failures, like Reaper doesn't make any sense, but largely as you go up skill thresholds, heroes have a very natural power distribution across all the ranks. And generally speaking, the things you assume should work largely do most of the time, or at least most of the time during a good balanced period, like I think we are now with patch 1.44. Moving on to his next paragraph, he says, the other reason I listed was that people do not like playing against certain heroes. I really wish that he addressed what I think is a even bigger concern that we don't like to play as certain heroes when the meta dictates we have to, like DPS players having to play Brig or tank players having to play Orisa. I feel like I suck at Orisa and you don't even have to do much. I don't think she's a very engaging tank, but I resent the fact that I have to pick her in situations that I'm going against characters that you need Fortify to survive against. Against. And doing something like banning Orisa would enrich the gaming experience for many, many tank players that find every other tank way more fun to play than Orisa. Orisa mirrors are terrible. It isn't strictly that players just don't want to play against certain heroes. That's not really what a real argument is. Like, I, I'm not trying to go too hard on Jeff here. Again, I think they've done a great job with the direction they want to go. I just always wish they would deal with our actual arguments instead of pick out really trash arguments that are on the the forums but anyway his answer to this basically it's a pvp game you don't get to pick what the enemy does the challenge is overcoming the enemy team with teamwork ingenuity and skill it feels really off to me that the other team dictates how or what i play so if your reason is that you don't want to play against certain heroes i think we'll agree to disagree on this point we've changed our minds in the past but that's where we're at for now the straw man he's attacking here is much weaker than the point that players hate having to pick 
lamer heroes so their team isn't mad at them for playing more engaging heroes. That's what feels bad. As far as the competitive aspect goes for what the enemy team is doing, I tend to agree, but the problem is that if the counter design is too rock, paper, scissors e, so that certain linchpin heroes to comps do too much and shove far too many picks into the tier two category. I think the previous version of May made Ball unplayable. And she also fit in against lots of other things, like making space for the shield tanks to move up or helping their focus fire, or comboing with Halt for multi-freeze, getting as much value as an ultimate does. The reasonable argument isn't, I don't like playing against Mei, it's that Mei too easily knocks out so many different heroes from being playable. Now they've addressed that with balance, but again, it only goes so far until we find the next thing or they institute the next new hero that throws the game out of balance for a while and we reel from it for months. These periods of times where we have a great patch like patch 1.44 on live now seem to normally not last too long. But let's move on to his next point. Jeff says, I hear a lot of people attack hero bans because they only want to play one hero or one trick to this. I think our stance is pretty clear. Overwatch is a game about mastering many heroes. We don't expect you to master them all, but you should play a few of the characters. Now, we don't explicitly prevent you from playing only one hero, but we also don't encourage it. We think the game is more fun for everyone involved if you play at least a handful of the heroes. That's how the game is designed. So defending, quote, one tricking does not factor in for us when it comes to our opinions about hero bands. We want the meta to move more and one tricking contributes to to meta issues. Again, we're not against one tricking, but we're not going to overly enable or encourage it. That's our stance. There are a few other reasons we're reluctant to pursue hero bans at this time. We've been really pushing for faster match times. There's a lot going on under the hood on this one. Our philosophy is that the game is better if you have quicker matches. The sting of defeat is much less if the match took less time. We're constantly talking about ways to speed up rounds of Overwatch to allow you to play more. Introducing a ban phase to the start of every Overwatch round would add significant time. Your overall time spent on an average night of Overwatch actually shooting stuff would be less. This concerns us a lot. There's also a huge development cost to adding the feature as well. The time commitment would be significant. This last reason is not the one that's driving our decision making. If we thought it was right for the game, like with Roll Queue, we would absolutely make the investment. I'm looking forward to sharing next week's developer update with you all. I think it will clarify things a bit, but in the meantime, I want to tell you where we're at with hero bans specifically, since so much misinformation is being spread right now. I hope those of you in favor of the system don't go to doomsday over this news without having the full picture. Information will be available next week on the plan to balance faster and keep the meta moving. We agree on the problems. That's the important thing. Well, guys, what do you think? It's hard to know exactly what Jeff's talking about until we see this developer update next week. Balancing faster matters but to be honest when the game's in a decent space i don't think you need to balance too much like there's only so much balance can do anyway it's more likely to do harm than good so whereas yeah in the goats meta maybe burning the midnight oil to find an answer to that or cranking out roll queue faster or whatever you needed to do would have been better but I don't think that's actually as important. Like it's important to bounce more quickly when you add new content. And perhaps next week we're getting a new hero along with whatever the feature is. <laughs> and maybe perhaps the new hero is like super broken. And Jeff's like, don't worry, we'll balance this quicker this time. When in reality, like I'm more excited for us not to get more heroes so that we can have a stable meta that isn't too crazy. I don't want the meta to keep changing. I don't think that's good. I don't think you should spend a year or more learning Doomfist just for him to receive a wacky buff and then for him to need to get four other nerfs to his playability in another direction. Like, I, I don't like that. I don't like the balance being like a dog chasing its own tail, constantly trying to, okay, that's like D.Va, for example. Defense Matrix was oppressive, so they nerfed it and gave her more offense. Then we got into a place where we still felt Defense Matrix was too oppressive, so they nerfed its range and then it was too bad, so they added her more offense again so she could fly faster. I don't think constantly changing things is what anybody's asking for. I don't think that 
results in a better game necessarily. That just results in more chaos, which maybe is better than stagnation, but that's not really what we're asking for. We're asking for our own agency and for Blizzard to not have to make all the decisions for us. Just like we asked for map bans so that individual players who like different things can tailor their experience to them. Not everybody agrees on this stuff. Same with hero bans. I've said my piece on this, guys. I'm excited for the dev update. I'm also excited to have much quicker response time from the dev team. That's amazing as well. I feel like we're actually having almost a conversation. I just wish Jeff was having a conversation with the people actually having this conversation rather than with weak sauce arguments on the forums. But hey, you can't always get everything that you want. So here's the hoping that the new feature is bomb, just like Roll Queue was. I mean, the Roll Queue is awesome. I love Roll Queue. So if it's as good as Roll Queue, I'm going to say I love it. But if it's just a hero rotation, I'm like, yeah, that's no different than wacky patch balance. Anyways, that's been it for me, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave it a like. It really does help us out. Let's us know that you're enjoying the content. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to actually get notified when our videos go live. Link to the description is our Twitter. We tweet out news updates and dank memes. That's been it for me. I've been Frito. If you're Overwatch, see you guys next time.